so we are discussing the voice allowable admin panel and we have discussed some features of this package like the menu builder and the media manager database manager and today we are going to discuss about the braid operation so how we can use the braid inside your application so suppose you can say the braid is like the crude application b for browse r for read e for edit and a for add and d for delete so this is a complete crude application so last day if you just go inside the tools inside the database so last you have created the products table so this is my products table and if you check we have a name description image create after that right so you can check from the database also we have a database tables but we have not created these things from the php my admin we have created from here just by clicking on this okay now i want to add some data into the product table so how we can we do this so if you just go to the product and just click on add bit to this table so by clicking on this we are getting this type of fields like table name display name so this is the products that is the table name and display name product so we can see the product and it must be unique and you can say the display name and the model name so as we are using the laravel 8 point some things that is laravel 8.x so we have a model structure so inside the app we have models and inside the models we have table so we need to add the namespace of this product so right here models right and we have not created this product model so we need to create that to use here right and all those things we are ready and just create this product model and here we can see the grant permission so you can make it yes or no and server side pagination sometimes for larger record we need pagination so we can make it yes and by default this is no so i am taking this as no we can discuss about the pagination things later time first we need to create the model so just go to the terminal and create a model so just go here and open new tab and write php artisan make model and what is the model name the model name is product so let's enter this by entering this we are getting the model created successfully so just look and into the model folder we are getting the product right so already and now just go to the browser again and see the edit the rows for the product table so by default i don't want to see the id inside the listing so i can just make it as a hidden so just add this hidden and for name this is text all right and for description i want to use the long text it may have a long text that is a product content so we can use many things so here i will use the rich text box right from there we can add the content of the product description and here this is the image so just use the image and the created data updated is the timestamps okay so we don't need to add anything inside here so just click on submit so braid is added now just go to the products and click on browse so here we can see a listing that is no product inside here but we are getting the name description image created it and the actions okay so let's add the product first so just go to the add new section and let's get as we are using the rich text section for description that's the reason we are getting this rich text and here we can add the name so suppose my name that is the my product name is suppose laptop okay and let's add some content so the laptop is awesome and and it can be carry and easy handling just something random text i just want to see how we can do this and you can make this line into the new line or you can make some word and the bolds as we are using the rich text so we can use these tools also 
and also have an option to add image so just click on the image and click on the source so if we just go here we have already downloaded the laptop image and let's open this so click on ok and here we can see a uh, image is added so this is the image this is uh, added and we can add the separate image that is the image field we have already created so this image is basically from the rich text and I want to add another image here so simply just add the same image okay no problem on that and just click on the save so one image is added and if you just go inside the products table and we can see the products also added and we can add many more products like this and we can later view this product so how it will appear actually and this is the created ad and this is the image and this is the description we can edit delete or return to list so just go return to the list so in this way we can add many types of product okay so that's awesome so now i want to add some icons here as we can see if we just go to the media we can see the icon and if we just go here and see inside the menu all have an icon but how we can add this icon so just go inside the here and if we just go inside this product and edit bread we have an option that is the voice or font class so if you just click on this it will open a new tab with a, along with a many types of icon so you can have an option to search and let's search that is voice bag right so we have a voice bag class so it will appear this type of icons so just use this icon so just close this and just use the class right and just go here and let's submit and if you just go inside the menu we are getting from here and if i just want to add this icon into the menu so just go to the menu section so if i just go menu builder and let's see inside the builder section so we have a product so where is the product and let's edit this and we have a class that is voice a bag so just add simply okay and update this so this image is appear so simply we can add this type of things and we can add a simple recruit and we don't need to write a single code we need to concentrate on the front end only already we have a discussed about how to create a menu and how to render a page and if you don't see this video please check my playlist you will get all the videos step by step from my channel so please comment if you have any queries about this video and the next day we are going to learn about one of the interesting things that is the relationing. So if you check inside this product edit page section we have an option that is to create relations. So if you just scroll down to bottom and here we can see the create relation. So what is this? So next video we will discuss on these things. So please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.